Hmm, okay. So, since yesterday, I've been thinking. I think that... Oh, come on! So, uh... As I was saying, I think I own you this because I... Um, because... Uh, actually, maybe I should just get on with this. Still, though, um... I sometimes wonder that... To whom exactly is private journaling addressed to? To the future self? To the deceased? If it is something that's never meant to be read by anyone, then is there any point? One's thoughts and feelings of the present are recorded for some unknown future purpose. For future reflection, I suppose. Is there a difference between written word and spoken one? If I wasn't now recording this, these words would just vanish into the void. But now they are saved, etched into stone like writing. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Hmm? There's a key in the bathtub. Hmm. So many questions. None of which will bring you back. These guys seem to have a habit of playing dumb games like this. Oh shit, should have guessed. Die, please. There's a lot of symbolism going on here with these creatures. It's like all the lore and theories Thomas so enthusiastically spouted about Silent Hill. Most of it went over my head. Well, I guess I've learned a bit since then. Or maybe the devs just thought what would be most creepy and went with that. Either possibility is just as likely. <laughs> Things seem to be deteriorating fast around here. I sure love their jump scares. Making me paranoid about every coin. Not sure if I'm going the right direction. 
but I get a feeling I'm being funneled somewhere. Huh. Now this place is starting to look like the abandoned apartments in White's End during the winter of 08. Yeah, definitely been here before. The serial killer room. Last time it reminded me of Dan, but he wasn't that bad, really. Um, at first. Well, in the end, it wasn't his fault he went nuts. Kinda. It's hard to say whether we could have done anything different. That was, uh, fast. Flooded basement, another classic. The subconscious calls. Some strange glitching going on, but there was definitely a guy in that doorway. Stop scaring me, silly game. I'm sure Thomas is laughing right now. Uh, what the fuck is that? What? What the hell? Um, okay. I'm pretty sure that's not intentional, but sure creepy as fuck. Okay, now this game is fucking with me. So they can, in fact, die. Apparently even the ghost ladies aren't immune to the bullet. At least in this realm. Good to know. What now?
I feel like I need a breather after that. Right, okay, might as well continue. VHS, truly a blast from the past. Sure where I'm going. Ah, right, I did remember seeing this here. That's not very nice. Oh, so is this the serial killer guy who talked about a code in his notes? Funny way to reveal it, though. Hmm, uh, there's something going on outside. Okay, just some neighbor shenanigans, apparently. This place is usually pretty quiet. It's just for us from the backyard, and this entire complex is basically abandoned. Not like the old apartment near the city center. Kind of miss that place. Simpler times. Someone is not having a good day there. Okay, seems like we're really diving into the deep end now. If the flooded basement represented the subconscious, then this really would be the abyss of the unconscious. Or something.
I'm getting vibes kind of similar to the Welland Thomas' old house in White's End. That thing was straight down, though. Still gives me shivers. This can't be good. It isn't taking any damage. Okay, let's think. There, I knew there had to be something. I guess watching Thomas play pays off now, over a decade later. Can't reload with just one hand. I really wish I had something more powerful now. Isn't that the layout from, uh, Silent Hill 4? Did I pass out? Huh? Who's that? Relax. I am not one of them. Huh. Who are you Is that one? Steve? I Gives kind of similar feel, except for the gas mask. You shouldn't be here. He would use a Faraday's cage. Wait, why are you wearing a gas mask? Are you stupid or something? Do I look like I'm turning to one of them? I can't trust you. I don't know if you're real. Just leave me alone. Well, no shortage of crypticness there. What the? All right, feeling kind of exhausted after all that. I think I'll leave it at here for now. Although, I hate to admit it, this game is kind of making me invested now. I don't like the jump scares and all that very much, but, well, I guess they're to be expected of a horror game. Thomas, if you're watching, I hope you're having fun. I'll promise to talk more about things I never got the chance to next time. Good nights. <laughs>